I am King Me from King Me Mobile, and I'd like to quickly review the 10 new feature upgrades introduced by the Oppo Color OS 16 system. The first is the adoption of a brand new light field design, known as a light design, which is primarily reflected in the system UI details and app icons. Compared to Color OS 15, the desktop icons in Color OS 16 appear more rounded, incorporating light edges and a gradient blur effect. Furthermore, the icon personalization settings now include inspiration icons, allowing you to customize the color scheme of your icons based on the wallpaper. Third-party app icons now have multiple resizing options, and you can add app shortcuts to large icons. Secondly, compared to ColorOS 15, the AI-inspired themes in ColorOS 16 are even more versatile. They not only support a panoramic, immersive screen-off display, but also allow you to customize and add the time and widgets on the lock screen. Wallpapers now support dynamic content from live photos and video files. During the setup process, you can also click the Depth of Field button to automatically use AI to detect depth of field effects. Third, a smooth experience in all scenarios. ColorOS 16 introduces new, seamless animations. Simply put, these previously fragmented animations are unified, like when sliding out the sidebar from the edge of the screen. In version 15, the animations for swiping, expanding, and closing were separate. In version 16, these animations are now seamless and unified. Fourth, full screen gestures now feature a new swipe following animation. Currently, this feature is only in beta and only supports the system and apps. It's not responsive when used with third party apps. Fifth, an upgrade to the app drawer. I wonder if you, like me, prefer the stock Android app drawer. Compared to ColorOS 15, the app drawer in version 16 has moved the search bar to the bottom and added a category button to the top. Clicking it reveals that the system has organized apps into folders. Sixth, an upgrade to the photo gallery interface. Compared to ColorOS 15, the first improvement is in the UI. The bottom button of the 16 system features a translucent floating design, giving it a cleaner look. Furthermore, two new features have been added. Live puzzle and live slow motion. Personally, I find these two features quite interesting. The seventh is a significant upgrade to the video editor. The ColorOS 15 system's photo album included a video editing feature, which limited to simple time and segment editing. The latest 16 system now includes a more comprehensive video editor, supporting features like cropping, time warping, and color adjustment, as well as the ability to add music, subtitles, transitions, and filters. This is a significant upgrade in terms of user experience. Unfortunately, features like multi-track video and picture-in-picture -picture are not yet supported, and we hope Oppo will continue to improve this. The eighth is the AI one-click flash memory. Compared to ColorOS 15, the 16 system's one-click flash memory has become even more powerful, allowing you to not only record documents and images, but also videos, bills, and voice memos. The shortcut button on the left side of the phone has also undergone minor changes. A single click activates the AI flash note feature, a double click opens the Zhao Buji app, and a long press activates AI flash notes voice input mode. Ninth, Uga Connect has been upgraded to Oppo Connect. The latest version is now available for both Windows and Mac. When used with ColorOS 16, the new phone screen mirroring feature allows you to control your phone's image on your computer screen, mirror individual app windows, and control up to five app windows simultaneously. Tenth, full compatibility with Apple's full suite of apps is now mandatory. In addition to the existing one-touch data transfer feature with iPhone, ColorOS 16 now connects with the Apple Watch, enabling seamless data transfer between Fluid Cloud and the cloud. Connecting with an iPhone also adds real-time synchronization of incoming calls, text messages, notifications, and more. If you're a dual device user of Apple and Android devices, these features are sure to be a hit. Well, this video about 10 new function upgrades that KingMe has listed after experiencing the beta version of the ColorOS 16 system. Since KingMe is only experiencing the beta version, there are still some new functions that cannot be experienced. However, according to the old tradition of the Oppo, these new functions will definitely be launched on subsequent new machines in the future, such as the content portal mentioned at the press conference, as well as the PC and WPS on the tablet side. That's all for this video.